Welcome back guys to Slippery Beaver. And Slippery Beaver has needs. Oh yes, we need to satisfy our Slippery Beaver. So what are we gonna be doing in this episode? Okay, first thing, I've created a little posse here and uh, I'm gonna take them out over here because we've got a group of nasty wolves over here and I want to kill them because we're gonna be going over there. So, come on, come on posse. Where are you? Move. What's up with you? Move. Okay, this guy's like stuck or something. Oh, no, come on. You gonna move? Yes, finally he moves. <laughs> God, bunch just slackers. Right, come out here. Now, the idea is to get close enough to these wolves so that we can shoot them. Oh, there we go, boom, boom, boom. Good job. Look at a little bit closer, boys. Can you shoot this guy? Yes. Boom, dead wolf. <laughs> uh, now, so there's one over there. Get a bit closer to this guy. Can you shoot him? Yes, they can. Good job. And there's one more over here. Oh, that might be a bit close. And can you shoot him now? Yes, all right. Right, quick. Get across the... Oh, no, there's another wolf there. There was five, I didn't. I never saw that one. Shoot him. Oh, he's on the tracks. He's going to get hit by the train. <laughs> Uh, and we don't care about the train. We just ride straight through the train because we're invincible, basically. Right, let's get up to the uh, bandit camp because we've got to keep the bandit camp under control. Oh, look. One of the bandits is being attacked by a bear. They're going to shoot the bear, I think. Get up here, boys. While they're still weakened by the bear. Right, let's get a bit over here. And... Yeah, shoot him. Oh, they shot him dead. Good job. Now shoot him. They do ride very close. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't shoot the bandits. No, there we go. Shoot him. Come on, shoot him. And, oh, come on. Come on. Boom. Shot. Ha, ha, ha. Right. You, get yourself back here. Lickety split. Like, ride all the way over here. Um, you, I, I, you, you're not doing anything. Go and get on that horse. And uh, take it over to the, take it over to the stables. Good man. How many? We've got 10 horses. Woohoo! Right, you're over here. And then once you get here, I'll click on the doctor. Oh, I tell you what, you've got to get a move on. You've only got 13 health. He should be fine. He should be fine. He will limp around to the doctors. All right, cool. So we're, uh, we've got this under control. Good. And I picked all, all um, labourers who had rifles to be, uh, to be our little posse. And uh, Four of them should be uh, should be enough to keep us under control. We've got another rifle there. Hooray! Right, so we're going to focus on the needs of our our little community. Um, now there's so much to do, so much to do. We are, we're up to sixteen, almost seventeen thousand, which is awesome. But I am going to spend so much money now; it's going to be crazy. We're going to start by expanding our territory again. Now that's going to be ten thousand straight away. Boom. And we've now expanded into that area where the wolves were. See, this, it, it all makes sense. And then over here, I'm going to put in, what am I going to put in? I'm going to put in another shack over here. And we'll line it up with this one and it goes in there. Right. Now, there's, um, there is method in all this madness. Trust me, I promise you there is. Right, I am going to put in now some very, very expensive stuff. Uh, well, am I going to do the fields? Am I going to do the crop fields now? No, no, uh, yeah. So I'd love to get the crop fields actually producing this year. So am I? Yeah, I'll go on. Go on, because the crop fields is kind of fun. Right, crop fields. The way crop fields work is this. You hold down the left key, uh, the left mouse button, and then you size it to the size that you want. Right Now, I want these to be six by three fields, uh, and I want them facing this way. Right? And then I'm going to put one just about there and one just about let's see just about there and then I'm gonna put this one funnily enough just in between the two of those just about there all right not perfect but that's fine right these are gonna be our crop fields this one is gonna be corn this one oh it's gonna be wheat and this one's gonna be potatoes how did it know <laughs> how did it know to do that okay well I did it Awesome. 
And then uh, we want some workers in here. This is going to cost money as well. Um, see, unlocking these, each one of these you know, costs 250. So we'll get workers in there, and we'll get workers in there, and we'll get workers in there. So that's just used up nine people. Let's let it run for a second. All right, cool. Hooray. Low funds. You need more money or your adventure is over. Oh, and we've got uh, two tribes of Indians have, have moved into the local area. Oh, now these will grow. And as they grow, they'll get warehouses and then, uh, then we'll be able to trade with them. That is, of course, before we sign a treaty with them, uh, make them move to some inhospitable desert, starve them to death until they uh, rise up in revolt. And then we slaughter them and nick all their land. Right. Which is, I believe that's the way it's done. Right. Uh, what else are we going to do? Okay, so we've got some crop fields. In. We'll talk about the crop fields later. I just wanted to get those in and working. And it's corn, wheat, and potatoes. Good. Alrighty. So what are we going to do now? We're going to talk about the needs and we're going to satisfy the needs of our people. Right. We're, at the moment, we're, all of our people are pioneers and they have four needs. They have meat, water, firewood, and clothing. Right. But as well as those are kind of their direct needs, but there are also some other things that they need. For example, they need to go to the toilet. And if you don't give them toilets, they will um, they will um, uh, defecate on the streets and stuff. And then you'll get a cholera outbreak and everybody will die. And that's not good, generally speaking. I've heard it said anyway that that's not a good thing. So we're going to do some stuff. Uh, let's see. City. I'm going to put in a couple of outhouses, I think. I'm going to put one over here. Uh, now... <laughs> The, the, the people in a, in a rough western town, right, are pretty rough, right? There's a lot of, the, there's a lot of, you know, like aggression and stuff and people promising to piss on other people's graves and stuff. And I, I put it to the town council that that's not a good thing. So they've banned pissing on people's graves. Um, but we wanted some kind of, you know, some kind of middle ground because we didn't want the citizens to rebel. So we're going to put an outhouse over here so that at least they can piss near somebody's grave. All right. So there you go. Outhouse going in there. I'm also going to put an outhouse in. Where else am I going to put an outhouse in? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's the simple answer. I don't know. What I do want to do is over here, I want to put in another well. And let's see. Water. Well. Now, we've got a well over there. Now, you can't, you, you can't put them within range of another well. Um, uh, this game has actually done that right for once. Most games don't bother. Uh, so I think we'll put it in, maybe over here, uh, there. Now I want somewhere to store water other than storing it in here, because this isn't uh, this isn't a good place to store it. What we want is a water tower, and I thought if we had a nice water tower going on, like there, that'd be quite good. So I think we'll have a water tower there, which is handy for the well there and handy for the well there. And then we're gonna put in another stable. Oh yeah, why? Because I wanna be able to store quite a lot of um, horses to give me a chance to fulfill what are sometimes quite large contracts over here. We'll, we'll probably end up with more than two stables. We'll see. So what do I want? I want another stable, please. City, stable. And you are gonna go in there. Boom. And you know what? There is actually room here. So I think, let's get, uh, should, I, should I put an outhouse? Should I put an outhouse? Oh, I can just squeeze an outhouse in. Do I put an outhouse there? Yeah, go on, we'll have an outhouse there. All right, there's much rejoicing. So we've got well, outhouse, water tower, another stable. Right, what else do we want? So we've, uh, we've catered with water. We've catered for water for our people. Uh, what about food? Let's get some food coming in. What do we want? Well, first thing is, uh, yeah, have we got enough meat at the moment? Yeah, we've got enough meat at the moment. So what we want to do is put in a couple of hunters. Uh, so, hunter. I'm going to put in a hunter somewhere over here, I think. Now, where? I don't know. Maybe maybe even here. Uh, there. Uh, I, can't even, I can't even rotate it and have it that way around. You know what? Yeah, why not? Right, we'll have a hunter there. Now, the location of my other hunter is kind of a little bit critical because as well as providing meat, the hunters also provide leather. And so I want him near my tailor. Now, um, this is gonna make me jump forward a little bit because I want, um, 
I want to produce uh, bread. Now, we'll talk about why I want to produce bread later. Right, the, the, we'll get into that, but I want to produce bread, so let's see. Now that I've put in a crop field, oh, I've unload, uh, unlocked a bunch of other stuff, including the bakery and the mill. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the bakery in here. And I kind of line it up with you. So I'm going to have bakery there. Oh, now that's a good point. Um, storing the bread. I might have to put a, a warehouse over there. Actually, that wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. Oh, I, no, actually, I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. So I'm going to put the the bakery there and then the mill. Oh, now, why can't I? Uh, oh, I can put Oh, I can put you there. Can't put you there, apparently, but I can put you there. Well, that'll do, actually. Um, I might actually turn you around and have the kind of entrance to the mill. I don't know. Uh, which way around do I want this? I might put the the mill face in this way. Well, oh, that's, that's annoying that I can't space that out a little bit. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on, you know you want to go in. All right, it'll go there. That's where it's gonna have to go then. So we'll put that in there. Now we're gonna have to store our crops somewhere. Um, so I was thinking uh, we want some silos to store them in. Here are our silos. In a silo, you can store your harvest. Mahaha, <laughs> awesome. But what I'd really like to do, because if we have a look at the, where's the, where's the tailor? Oh, now I just had another idea. What I was, okay, what I was going to do, I was going to put, um, where's the tailor? Uh, tailor's in production. There we go, tailor. I was going to put the tailor here. Oh, God, if I could put the tailor there. Oh, I can put the tailor there. I was going to put the tailor there and put um, silos behind it, which I thought would be kind of cool. You know, I am still going to do that, I think. Yeah, tailor goes in there. Now, can I fit the silos in behind it? That's the question. Let's have a look. Uh, what do I want? Storage, silos. Now, ideally, I'd want to put like three silos in, one for each type of grain. Would be good. Let's see if I can. So, one and two. Oh, come on two and three hooray we've got three silos in for our crops relatively near to our crops good stuff now um the next thing i want is somewhere for the tailor to put his clothes and for the leather to be stored so i'm going to put in uh, a warehouse come on warehouse oh i, I can't put it in because we've run out of cash oh no Right, well, get on with it then. Now, I think we'll um, I think we'll turn things up to fast because we just need to get more cash coming in. Right, let's go over here. Now, this question mark over here. Oh, in fact, this is it. The working area of a building in Slippery Beaver is empty. Assign a new area. So this guy over here, um, he's run out of trees to chop down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say, tell you what, work on, work on that area. Oh, actually because what I was going to do was assign a couple more workers, but I can't because I've run out of cash at this point. Um, so I tell you what, let's, let's move you a little bit closer. You can you can work on this area here. Okay, cool. So he's going to work on that. That's fine. That's going to working on that. That's fine. Yeah, so it is now just the case. Oh, and everybody's coming out to work on the fields. Good news. Get on with it, farmers. Metal parts are out of stock. You can buy some more from a, from a trader. Well, we could buy some more if we had some cash, which we do now have. Well, well, we're starting to get some more cash coming in. Now, what I could do is I could sell some uh, some horses, but don't really have a lot. Uh, oh, we've got a nice Winchester there. Uh, oh, we've got a couple of house, uh, horses there we could steal. Oh, let's get a couple of people to come out here and we'll steal some horses. Uh, let's have um, you two do. Come out here. Run. Run your little legs off. Get out here quick before another another bandit spawns. Here we go. Come all the way over here. Right, now, let's see. You're a labourer. Pick up that rifle. There you go. Uh, don't go away. 
Come over here. Right, uh, you jump on that horse. There we go. And then go over and join the posse. And you, now let's see, is there a, pause, because is there a, a pistol lying around anywhere? Oh, there's another Winchester. Oh, grab that. Grab that Winchester. Oh, he's not going to do it, is he? Oh, yeah, he is. All right, and then get on the horse. Cool. And then I'm going to let you go back to town. Yeah, probably am. Let's, uh, let's let you get back to town. Or should I, should I swap you out for one of the other guys? Nah, it's fine. He's going back to the barn anyway. I, I suppose I could ga gallop him over there, but we'll, now nah, we'll, we'll leave him be. We'll leave him be, poor guy. Right, how are we doing? Look, look, the cash is rolling in. We're already, already up to, uh, oh. Only down 1,700 now. Awesome sauce. Good news. Now, what was I trying to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I was trying to do. Over here at the lumberjack. Oh, we'll see, I can, but let's pause it. Uh, let's assign another couple of workers because we, we've got we've got a fair old number of workers. We've got 29 labourers, which is more than we need. Um, let's have let's have uh, you working on clearing the trees in this area, and you can work on clearing the trees down here, maybe. Cool. Right. So that's going on. What else? What else do we want to do? Um, oh yeah, hunters. Hunters was where we were up to. So we've got the tailor there. What I was going to do, I was going to put in a, uh, a warehouse next to the uh, next to the tailor, where where he can store his clothes and we can store leather from another hunter. And hunter, 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 hunter is under food, right? And we'll just pop you in, pop you in next door to the uh, to the warehouse. Yeah, about. I, I mean, I suppose I could kind of just tuck you in behind the warehouse if I wanted to. I don't really see the, the benefit. Oh, you know what? I might tuck you in there, and I, I don't know. Maybe some other building will go in there. But let's um, let's put you there. Cool. Now I'm going to make this hunter a priority, uh, even though I've got no metal parts, and I need to buy some. Ha! Huh, that's a good point. Metal parts. I want how many uh, lots? like probably 30 if I can get them. So, so, can I get 30 metal parts? We'll see, go. Alrighty, um, this guy, this hunter is also a priority. I wanna get my hunters going. I've got my lumberjacks going, I wanna get my hunters going. I also wanna get these built, but I'm out of metal parts, so, so that's not gonna happen. Man, that that's, I spent so much money. But money's still coming in. We're still making like 300. So so this will get this will get sorted out pretty quickly. Bandits, 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 bandits. Oh, there's a bandit there. Quick shoot him. Shoot him. Boom. Ah, ha, ha, ha. What did you drop? You dropped a Colt pistol. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and equip my farmers with, uh, with Colts, I think. And I'm gonna save, um, you know, let's save the, the rifles for the labourers. See, these are labourers. You're a farmer, Millie Hollenbach. Come over here. Come and grab this Colt pistol. You'll you'll thank me for it one day, trust me. Oh, there's a Colt there. Uh, there's another one there. Oh, I can grab another farmer. Uh, go grab your, go, go your Colt pistol. Don't slack. You're a labourer. You're a labourer. What are you? You're a labourer. You're a labourer. Now, one thing. Be careful with your fields. Uh, they can bug out and the, the farmers stop working there. What happens is, um, like what, what should happen is, they come out, they work for a bit, then they disappear for a bit and let the crop grow. And then they'll come out for a bit and work a bit more and then they'll go away and then they'll come back. And basically it's kind of like, I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're planting and weeding and all that kind of stuff. A gunslinger's on his way to Slippery Beaver. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that gun, get gunslinger, I don't think. Right, where are all my farmers? You're a labourer. Where are my farmers hanging out at the moment? You're a farmer, you've got a colt. You're a farmer, you've got a... Now, you've got a rifle. I don't want you to have that rifle. So I'm going to tell you to drop that. Now, I'm sure somebody will pick that up and take it to the uh, the warehouse. In fact, look. Oh, he's just, he's just equipped it. Oh, but you're a farmer. I don't want a farmer to have it. 
Uh, drop it again. Drop it. What do I do? Oh, have you picked it up again? Oh, you put them inside. No, I tell you what. You, I'm going to take. Equip it yourself with a Colt. Uh, did you drop the rifle? Okay. Drop the drop the rifle. Right, he's dropped it. Now, equip yourself with a Colt. There we go. Good. Now, uh, is somebody coming to get this? Yes. Warley Valley. Where's Warley Valley? Bolton Gang. Uh, is it still there? Oh, no, somebody's grabbed it. There's Warley Valley. And it, Warley Valley is a labourer. So, good. I've put that in the hands of a labourer. That's what I wanted. We got any more people out here? Now, yeah, we've still got one cult. So, let's see. I want a farmer. Oh, you're a farmer with no weapon. You're perfect. Come out here. Double quick. Go. And I've got one horse, which is perfect. So you can take that and you can ride back to town. Awesome sauce. Here he comes, running out. Right. Grab that pistol, mister. And then get on this horse. There you go. Right, now, let's gallop you back to town. Oh, look at you go. Boom, boom. Right, we're almost back to positive territory. That's pretty impressive. Gallop all the way to here, and then I'll tell you, you can go about your business. And he's going to go and put his horse away, and everybody's happy. Good. All right, let's pause for a little bit. Let's see what's getting done. Now, did we get our uh, metal parts? Uh, I don't think we did, did we? No, we didn't. We're waiting on metal parts. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're waiting on metal parts. We're, we're waiting on stone as well. Oh, and we got the metal parts. I should have asked for stone as well. Let's get, uh, I don't know, like 30 stone as well. Boom, 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 boom. What do we want? Come on, 30. There we go. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. But we got the metal parts. That's, that's kind of what's holding us up at the moment. All right. How are the fields doing? Oh, 50%, 49%, 50%. Hooray! Uh, now, these silos, these, these... Oh, my God, these silos need 10 metal parts. Okay, you know what? Uh, pause. And pause. And pause. Now, meat is in short supply. So, we need to get some meat going, and we need to get some meat going pretty darn quick. Let's see. Are you built yet? No, you just need to get finished off, though. Yeah, so you're almost built. And how about the one that I put out here? Are you built yet? No, not quite. Not quite. Come on, guys, get this stuff built, will you? Wow, I didn't realise the silos used um, 10 metal parts. That's, like... That's blooming expensive. Well, I think we're going to need some more metal parts. Let's get another... What, another 30 metal parts just for the three silos? All right, do that. Look at them carrying all the planks over there. Fortunately, we had loads of planks, so we can do loads of building. Now, um, how are we doing in terms of goods that I could potentially sell? Well, not great at the moment, because we've just used up loads and loads and loads of planks. Um, yeah, yeah, not great. Not great is the answer. How are we doing over here? Oh, yeah, let's see. Look, our crops are starting to grow now. <laughs> oh, so wait. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, crops are kind of a second phase thing, but I wanted to get them done. Now, a resident of our town is relieving himself over here. Well, that's fine, because um, he's got no choice, because I've got him trapped over here. Let's um, shoot this guy. Oh, he surrendered. Wuss. What did he... Uh, he dropped a colt by the look of it. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. Not going to worry about that right now. Let's see, did we get, uh, yeah, we got the stone, we got the metal parts, good. Alrighty, we're getting the warehouse built. Now, is this, ah, the hunter has been built. I'm going to assign two more workers to here, and then we're going to set this out, let's see. You can, you can hunt over there, and you, go away, you guy, you can hunt over there, and you can hunt, oh, maybe, maybe over there. Got lots of bison over here. It's awesome. Ooh, give me your meat and hides. And let us uh, let us eliminate the bison and starve out the red man. <laughs> right, uh, what the hell am I doing now? I want to go and check on the this guy. No, he's still alive. It's a shame. Yeah, he'll die eventually. 
What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, we've got all the stuff that we need. Uh, I need to do these hunters as well, don't I? So unlock that and like that. You hunt. Let's see. You hunt up there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Try that again. Uh, you hunt. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, try hunt. There's, there's, there's a bunch of deer over here. Hunt over there. And you can hunt. I don't know. Yeah, there's deer wandering around here. You hunt over there. All right, cool. So, uh, we should start bringing some meat in, which would be nice. A resident of the town, Slippery Beaver, is relieving himself on the streets. It's another one of these guys. Now, this guy has got upset. Right, now, if I don't do something about that, he's going to start getting really upset and get violent and, and whatever. Now, if we check on the moods of the other people, um, yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. It's just this one guy who's got really upset because he's almost dying of thirst. So, let's have him uh, gallop back to town. So, gallop over here. And then I'm going to unpause you. Right, he's going to put his horse away. Right, and then what are you going to do? Uh, my bet is he'll go and get a drink. Oh, he's going to go and relieve himself first. He must have been dying for that. He's like, I've been out in the woods dying for a pay for like about a month. Oh, then he's going to get a horse and he's going to ride over to the warehouse. Probably get some, yes, and he got some meat. Right, he's happy now. His mood will just like just keep improving. So as soon as he's got everything, oh, he's our lawman. I'm going to gallop our lawman back out here. Oh, see, somebody else has got upset now. Yeah, well, you come back over here. Now let's see, we've got our uh, we've got our tower, our water tower built, and we're starting to store water in it. Hooray! You just like do whatever you need to do. What's you gonna you gonna get get some food probably? Yeah, I got food and water. Good for you. Right, get on with it. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to slow things down a bit because it's easy for stuff to get like way out of control. Uh, we've got a, we've got a bandit to shoot. Group together, guys, and then go and shoot him. Oh, good job! Killed him in one go. Lovely. You guys go and hang out over there. What did he drop? Did he drop? Oh, he dropped a Winchester rifle. <laughs> so wait. Winchesters are good. Now, what are you upset about? Oh, he's, he's, his mood's going back up. He's fine. He's fine. Let's see. Our hunters are doing good. They're bringing in meat. They're bringing in leather. That's excellent. Over here. Yep. Yeah, you're bringing in meat. You're bringing in leather. Oh, now look at this. Our crops are starting to ripen. We are at 86%, 84%, 84%. Now, once they get to the, the ripe stage. So this is our corn. This is our wheat. You can see. There's our, some potatoes are getting ready. They'll come out and they'll they'll actually whip out a big, great big scythe. What did you think I was going to say? Uh, they whip out a great big scythe and they start chopping it down. Actually, they, they only do that with the wheat, I think. You're um, you're picking this. Yeah, look, and now we've got one corn. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. So each of these fields, um, because they're 18 in size, each square produces like one. Of what it, oh look, there he is with his scythe. Look at that. And there we go. We get one wheat. So each one of these produces 18 of each. And you can see how long that took. I don't know what. I don't. I like. I don't know exactly how long it takes, but yeah, not 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 all that long. So they'll produce some. Um, they'll produce several crops a year. They're not seasonal. They used to be in an earlier version of the game. Remember, this is in early access. In an earlier version of the game, um, uh, they were seasonal. You can only grow. I don't know which order it was, but like one crop would grow in the spring, one crop would grow in the summer, one crop would grow in the fall. Okay, we have not satisfied all the needs yet. Oh no, pause for a second before things get out of control. So let's have a look. We are now producing meat, great. We're producing water, great. We're producing clothing, fabulous. We need to produce firewood. Okay, let's go and have, I just want to go and have a look at our tailor. Our tailor is there. And yet, yeah, look, all churning the clothes out, getting the leather in. It's all working very, very nicely. These guys are bringing the crops in. Right, I really should probably get these um, these silos going now. Let's see, I've got 28. And they've got some already, haven't you? Yeah. Um, go on, go on, we'll do it. 
We'll, well, I'll build one. No, I'm going to build all three. Yeah, what the hell? Let's just build all three. Who cares? Build all three. So, firewood. 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 Now, um, am I producing, at the moment, uh, excess logs? And the answer is, no, I'm not. So, what I'm going to do is, um, is produce excess logs. And the way I'm going to do that I mean, hopefully I should start producing excess logs now that I've got three of these and just one sawmill. But I think if we look down here, I've got a great big forest area down here, which is kind of perfect. So I'm going to put in uh, another lumberjack. Let's see, what do I want? I want lumberjack, lumberjack. Um, and I think I'll put you in probably, probably about there-ish. Yeah, somewhere around there. Boom, in you go. And next to him, I'm going to put, uh, not a forester, where are you? Production. Oh, here we go, a woodcutter. And I'm gonna have a woodcutter going on. Yeah, which way around am I gonna? Now, you know what, I should have planned this out a little bit better, but uh, you know what, I might put the, I might put the woodcutter just like next door. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put the woodcutter there. All right, cool. Now that does mean that they've got a bit of a distance to carry the firewood. So we need somewhere for them to put it so that they don't have to walk so far, it would be kind of nice. So let's get also, uh, what do I want? I want storage, here we go, storage. Uh, I'm gonna put in a, a warehouse for them to store that stuff. Let's put that there. All right, cool. Oh, we've got a, we've got a wolf. That's not good. Uh, where's my where's my posse? Come out here and shoot this wolf. Where is he? There he is. Right. Gallop out to about there. Before before the labourers get here to try and build these things. You get you galloping over? Yeah, they're galloping over here. Let's, let's speed them up a little bit. Oh, he's, he's walking away. He's seen them coming. He's like, oh, they're going to shoot me. Come on, shoot him. Yes, we shot him. Oh, there's a bear there. Shoot the bear as well. Good job. Well done. Uh, any more aggressive creatures around? I don't see any. Mind you, it's night time. It's blooming hard to see. Uh, let's see. Do we have any more people to shoot? No. Right. Just get back over here. Oh, so much to do in this. There's the, like so much to keep your eye on all the time. Oh, our silo is almost built. Nice. I tell you what, the town's kind of sort of coming together. I'm liking it. Love the water tower in the centre of town. I think that's kind of a nice thing. We've got 18 horses in that stable. And we will be getting lots more. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. So, wood. Wood, 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 wood. Uh, we're, getting, uh, we're getting that woodcutter built. But I'm going to put another woodcutter over here somewhere. Yeah, what do I want? I want production and I want a woodcutter and I'm going to put a woodcutter in probably. Now, why can't I put a woodcutter there? What the hell's wrong with that? Uh, okay, this, I don't know. There's something in the way. Oh, hang on a second. I, I can put you there. Well, hang on. If I can put it there. Oh, man. Like, okay, hang on a second. So... I'm about to sneeze and he's like, I'm, I'm fighting it off, but I've got the urge to sneeze. And I was like, no, go away. Uh, let's make that a priority. And let's see, I want my lumberjack first. So let's make you a priority. Then, then we'll get you going and then you. All right. Now, let's see, how are we doing for storage over here? Uh, I think we could probably, well, because we've used like so many of the planks, we have got a bit of room, but I think it would be a good idea to get some more storage going. So let's take you off pause, but I'm not going to prioritize you. All right, let's crank it up a bit. Do things a little bit faster. Oh, look, look, they're taking the crops and they're putting them in the silo. They can store up to 200 of a particular crop in there. That's wheat. Uh, we'll say this one will be corn and this one will be well when they build it that will be potatoes 
Now, wheat is used obviously in the uh, in the mill, turned into flour, and then baked into bread in uh, in the bakery here. Look, oh, what do they need? They need flour, they need firewood, and they need water. And we're producing all those things, so that'll all be good. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, the corn is used to feed animals. Oh, somebody's upset. And the potatoes are used to make alcohol. Oh yeah. Right, oh, you're upset, are you? Uh, oh, we've got a guy, Be well, before you go, would you mind shooting this guy for me? Shoot, shoot Victor Drago. Boom, oh, we shot him dead, good job. Right, let's see, you're the one that's upset, aren't you? Yeah. Gallop yourself back to town. Over there. And once you get back to town, we will release Wanderick. No, no, you can go and do whatever you want. Good. Right, I could do with another couple of um, labourers. You're a farmer. You're a farmer. Now, uh, you've got a colt. You've got, I oh, see, you've got a rifle. I don't really want you to have a rifle. You're a farmer, you've got a colt, that's fine. You're a builder with no weapon. You're a you're a labourer with no rep, no weapon, right? You come out here uh, because there's a Winchester rifle right there. That would be perfect for you. We got any more labourers? Well, uh, let's see. You're a farmer with a colt. Uh, you are a farmer. Now you are. Oh, you're a labourer with no weapon. Labourer no weapon. Oh, you're all labourers. Uh, you've got. Uh, so you're a labourer with a colt. I'm going to have to swap some people around. Uh, let's grab you two and have you two come out here. And we'll arm you up and, uh, and give you horses and stuff like that. And it'll all be, all be fine and dandy. Right, you, come and pick up this Winchester, please. Good job. Right, you stand over there. You two, stay out of the way. You stand over there. Uh, oh, there's a horse there. You, go grab that horse. Good man. And go back over there. All right, so that's sorted the that's sorted the posse out for now. We are, um, but now see now we're only making like 147 because we've put in all this other stuff. In order to uh, to make more money, we've got two options. Um, we can either uh, oh we've run out of metal parts again. Good lord. We can either. Uh, open up the railway station and try and sell stuff but at the moment I'm pretty sure that we just haven't got enough of anything to sell now uh, we've got a few planks we've got a few logs but not really that much water we could sell uh, we haven't got enough leather uh, we're kind of doing okay with clothing that's not too bad look at this we've got 18 corn we've got 18 potatoes I wonder if we'll get 18 wheat I would imagine we probably well that now because they're they're turning the wheat into flour, and then the flour is going to be turned into uh, into bread. So that's all good. Oh man. Um. So 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 so. Right. So, uh, we should be producing firewood by now, are we not? No, no, we haven't. We haven't got the woodcutter built yet. We have got the lumberjack built. Let's uh, hire two more guys. You are going to cut down trees skip and jump and you probably like to wear high heels and you can chop down those trees there and let's see you uh, you can maybe chop down the trees in say this area all right cool oh it's almost it's it's not far off done that how's about how's about this one then this one is oh, almost done the woodcutter oh are you gonna go are you, oh there, there's a builder working on it what are you doing? You're a builder. Go smack it with your hammer or something. I think he's, yeah, he wanted to hide. He's like, don't look at me. Because he's coy. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. His name is Coy, and he went and hid. Because he's coy. That that was very cool. All right, is it is it done? I think it's done, isn't it? Yes, hooray. And we've now got a woodcutter who's going to start taking some of these logs and producing some wood. Well, some firewood, to be specific. Now, with two woodcutters, we should produce enough for the town and have some left over that we can sell, which would be very, 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 very good. How good? Very, 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 very good. Right. Um, I do want to be putting in some more shacks. Now, let me see. 
if I was to put shacks, yeah, okay. If I was to put shacks here behind uh, these, uh, yeah, let's put a shack there, and we'll put a shack there. So we'll we'll have we'll have a street going up here and a street going up here. You know what? I'm going to put in a couple more because like because like why wouldn't I? Put one in there, flip you around. Which way? That way. And you can go in there. Cool. So let's see. One, two, three, four. What's three times? Uh, sorry. What's four times thirty-six? It's about one hundred and forty-two or something, isn't it? No. Uh, hundred and I don't know. Yeah, it's something like one hundred and forty-two-ish. So call it around 150. So that should get us back up, in like at least 200 plus. I mean, hopefully up around 250 by some of the by the time some of these others get built. Um, so hopefully we can start paying off some of this debt that we've incurred. Oh man, we've got 74 planks. We've got no stone, so we're going to have to buy some stone. Mind you, hang on a second. Where? 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 Um, where is there some stone? There is some stone over here. We've got a stone quarry there. Uh, there's some more there. Oh, and there's some out there. So I tell you what, how about we put in a stone quarry? That's not the worst idea I've ever had, is it? Let's put in a stone quarry. You know what? Shall I put it kind of there-ish? Let's put you you right up close to that one and yeah in you go and you know what am i going to prioritize that yeah i'm going to prioritize that that doesn't require stone to build that only needs planks and metal parts although we haven't got either <laughs> oh god all right let's get some stone coming in what do i want let's get like i don't know uh i'm thinking like 15 and metal parts Metal parts I just need, so let's just get 20. Uh, I mean, I could probably manage with like, like maybe less stone. Uh, yeah, let's maybe get 10 stone. There's no point spending money if we don't have to. All right, go away. Now, I do always have the emergency fund. Oh, now you're upset. Where, where have you been? You're not very happy. Where are you, where are you off to? Uh... Well, if you're going over there, go there quicker. And release you. Oh, see, and now you're going to come back again to put your horse away. All right, come over here. Come on, gallop. Get over here. And now you can go and do whatever you want. Hooray. Let's go have a look at the bandit camp quickly. Uh, where the hell's the bandit camp? It's over here. Oh, we've got another bandit. You lot. Shoot him. Shoot him, Nicky's stuff. Oh, he didn't. Uh... Oh, hang on a second. Uh, you two, come over here. We've got a uh, Winchester for you. Grab that. Go. Good job. And what have you dropped? Oh, you dropped a Winchester as well. That's brilliant. Go, grab that. You, uh, you can't nick his horse yet, but it's only a matter of time. You got to stand over there. You got to stand over there. All right, cool. We've got two more guys armed up in our posse. Excellent stuff. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Are we producing firewood now? Please tell me we're producing firewood. And the answer is, yay, we're producing firewood. So now, if we look at our needs, we are producing meat. We're producing water. We're producing firewood. We're produ producing clothing. We've satisfied all the requirements for a pioneer. In the next episode, we'll start looking at satisfying settlers. Now, we've actually already like got a little bit ahead of the curve. Oh, somebody's upset. You. Yeah, your mood's not very good. Uh, gallop, gallop yourself back to back to the camp. Um, yeah, we've already got a little bit ahead of the curve because we've already got some of the stuff that we need to uh, to to make settlers happy, and we have to make settlers happy um, before uh, before we un. You have to have all the stuff ready for settlers before you can unlock settlers. Let's put it that way. Right, are you? Right, you're done, and then you're going to gallop back over here again. What the hell is with these people? Get over here. Get over there, then we'll unlock you, put your horse away, go get yourself some food and drink and all that kind of stuff. Alrighty, we are going to leave it there for this episode. My God, we got, like, a lot done. A lot, a lot done. We're only making 124 now, though. 
Oh, we've got it. You've got to keep on this all the time. This is area one, isn't it? We've finished off those trees. So I'll tell you what, start, start clearing this area down there. All right, cool. Um, yeah, we've done so much, but there is still so much to do. So much to do. So if you want to see, um, I think next episode we'll be getting the railway station going and doing some contracts and whatever. Uh, and what, what are we going to do with the horses? We've got 22 horses. What are we going to do with them? Well, you'll find out if you come back for the next episode. I will see you for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.